Millions in Syria and Iraq are facing water shortages as the region's longest river, the Euphrates, dries up. It was terrifying when the waters of the Euphrates, the longest and one of Western Asia's most historically important rivers, began to decline. However, while the drying up of the Euphrates might not have come unexpectedly, the most recent discoveries have been unexpected, and some of the following events were even scarier. What is happening above the Euphrates River? What are the recent discoveries from the river? Stay tuned as we uncover the answers together. The Euphrates River, known as Firat Neri in Turkish and Nar al Furat in Arabic, is an amazing river that flows through the Middle East, stretching over a distance of 1,740 miles. It's the longest river in Southwest Asia and is regarded as one of the two primary components of the Tigris Euphrates River system. This magnificent river has its source in the Armenian highland, where the Karasu and Murat rivers merge. From there, the Euphrates flows southeast, cutting through the rugged Taurus Mountains and onto the Syrian Plateau. As it meanders its way through western and central Iraq, the Tigris River joins the river, forming the Shat al-Arab, which flows into the Persian Gulf. Let us run through the historical timeline of the Euphrates River. Since around 4000 BC, the river has been home to many significant ancient cities, including Mari, Sippar, Nippur, Shurapak, Uruk, Ur, and Eridu, all of which were situated on or close to the river. The fertile lands of the river valley were the heartlands of the later empires of Babylonia and Assyria, which owe much of their prosperity and power to the Euphrates. The river has also been a natural boundary between powerful empires, including the Persian Empire, which used the Euphrates as its western and eastern borders for many years. It was also the eastern limit of effective Egyptian and Roman administration, making it a strategically coveted region for many powerful civilizations. The Euphrates River and the Tigris River have defined a region that has had an enormous impact on the history and development of human civilization. Historically, this area is known as Mesopotamia, meaning the land between the rivers in Greek. The Mesopotamian region was home to some of the world's earliest civilizations, including the Sumerians, Babylonians, and Assyrians. The ancient city of Babylon, also situated on the banks of the Euphrates River, was a marvel of architectural and engineering achievement. Many of the city's magnificent structures, including the famous 15-foot-high mud brick walls dating back 2,600 years, were constructed using materials brought down the river by boat. These walls were not just any ordinary mud brick walls, but were adorned with original friezes of lions and snake dragons, the symbol of the god Marduk, and were carved with cuneiform inscriptions. These incredible structures go a long way to show us the ingenuity and craftsmanship of the Babylonian people. The Euphrates River cut right through the heart of the ancient city, dividing it into two parts. On either side of the river were steep embankments that protected against yearly flooding, which was common in the region. In addition to the river, a latticework of waterways connected the Tigris to the Euphrates just north of the city. This intricate network of canals and irrigation channels irrigated the surrounding area, contributing to Babylon's unmatched prosperity and making it a hub of trade and commerce in the ancient world. Babylon was a center of culture, wealth, and innovation. Its impressive structures and gardens were the world's envy, drawing people from far and wide to marvel at their beauty. Nebuchadnezzar II, perhaps the most renowned king to rule over Babylon, is best remembered for his capture of Jerusalem and the forced exile of its Jewish population. One of the popular songs in the Book of Psalms was composed by the rivers of Babylon, likely the Euphrates River. But Nebuchadnezzar's legacy also includes one of the seven wonders of the ancient world, the Hanging Gardens of Babylon. These tiered, lushly watered terraces watered by the Euphrates were said to have been so beautiful that they could cure any sadness, and they were the pride of Babylon for centuries. Herodotus, the ancient Greek historian, was so awestruck by the splendor of Babylon that he declared that no other city could compare to it. However, Human intervention and natural forces have shaped this fascinating history of the Euphrates River. 
At one point, the river had a complex network of channels in Basra, creating an expansive swamp teeming with life. However, this unique ecosystem was destroyed by the Saddam Hussein administration in the 1990s as part of their strategy to expel marsh Arab rebels from the region. Human Activities Along the Euphrates The Euphrates River has been harnessed to provide water and power to the surrounding regions for many years. The governments of Syria and Turkey have been carrying out major dam projects since the 1960s to harness its waters, leading to the construction of impressive structures like the Tabka, Keban, Karakaya, Birichik, and Karkamis dams. However, the Ataturk Dam is the most significant and extensive dam on the Euphrates River. This massive dam was built near the San Liurfa province in Turkey between 1983 and 1992. It's one of the largest dams in the world and was erected to provide hydroelectric power to the region, as well as to control flooding and provide irrigation to agricultural lands. The reservoir created by this dam is so massive that it could be seen from space. The water from the Ataturk Dam is sent through two parallel Urfa tunnels to irrigate the fields in the surrounding area. While these projects have provided numerous benefits, they've also led to a decrease in the flow of water in the river. This reduction in water flow, combined with a rapidly growing population and increasing water demand for agriculture and industry, has led to a steady decline in the Euphrates' water levels. The impact of this decline is far-reaching and affects everything from the local economy to the natural environment. For example, reduced water levels have severely impacted agriculture, causing a decrease in productivity and food prices. Furthermore, the decline has ripple effects on the river's ecosystem, negatively impacting fish and other aquatic species that depend on the water to survive. The effects of declining water levels also extend beyond the river itself. The decline in the Euphrates' water levels has been linked to increasing desertification and land degradation. As the river recedes, the surrounding land becomes more arid, leading to the loss of vegetation and an increase in soil erosion. This process has ultimately led to transforming once fertile areas into barren deserts, exacerbating the region's already severe environmental challenges. What secrets are hidden under the overflowing waters of the Euphrates? In 1968, the Syrian government erected the imposing Takba Dam, which swallowed up the most treasured historical monuments that had once lined the river's banks. As the water level gradually subsides, a stunning sight emerges. Hundreds of cemeteries belonging to Syriac Christian monasteries, believed to have existed in the area, have finally been unearthed. Among them is an underwater graveyard that may be seen when the sky is a brilliant blue and the lake is as clean as crystal. The receding waters of the Euphrates River have also recently uncovered a treasure trove of ancient archaeological sites, some of which were previously unknown. Radib Ali al Kubaizi, the director of Anbar Province's Antiquities Department, spoke about the momentous discovery, stating that the drought had created a new realm of possibility. He revealed that they have realized Anbar is one of Iraq's most important archaeological sites, with a history that dates back to the very first settlements in the region. At least 75 archaeological sites have been partially excavated, spanning a vast range of cultures that dated back to 3000 BC. The sites from the Sumerian era to the Roman period were a testament to the rich history hidden beneath the river's murky depths. But the discoveries didn't end there. The ancient city of Talbes, which dates back a staggering 3,400 years, was finally revealed in all its glory, thanks to the receding waters of the Euphrates in the Iraqi city of Anna. And there were more surprises yet to come. The Euphrates valleys were found to have some fascinating holes and caverns. Who or what dug these holes up is still a mystery. The Prophecies About the Euphrates River Beyond the sciences and climatology, the drying up of the Euphrates is also heavily linked with several prophecies. Many ancient texts and prophecies have depicted the drying up of the Euphrates River as a harbinger of doom and destruction. Examining some of these prophecies and their potential relevance to the current situation is worth exploring. In the Revelation of John, the final book of the Christian Bible, 
it is written that the sixth angel will pour out his bowl on the great river Euphrates, causing its waters to dry up and clearing the way for the kings from the east. Some have interpreted this prophecy as a warning of the end of the world and the ultimate battle between good and evil. The prophecy of the Euphrates rivers drying up is part of the seven bold judgments of Revelation. These judgments, along with the seven seals and seven trumpets, represent the seven-year tribulation. These bold judgments occur towards the end of the tribulation and are so severe that all human life would be destroyed if they continued. The sixth bold judgment, the tribulation's second to last judgment, involves the Euphrates River drying up. This prophecy details the judgment and explains why it's necessary, so that a massive army from the east can cross the Euphrates without any obstacles. Then the world's leaders converge in an area known as Armageddon, where Jesus returns and the final battle between good and evil takes place. This battle results in the destruction of all of God's enemies. Let us know your thoughts in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video, like it, share it with friends, and subscribe for more.